Tāds. 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 We are all dogs. We are on Facebook now. I got it. For some reason, YouTube didn't work, so I changed it to Facebook. Smile. <laughs> okay. So yeah, just just press. Uh, I mean, practice when you press it. Yeah, made it larger, wider, stroke. And by pressing and lifting, while lifting slowly, slowly. Okay, that's the first stroke. Let's go uh, the second. Second is the horizontal one. Hori horizontal one. Uh, on the second or the last of the first row. This one or this one. Yeah, longer one or shorter one. Okay, the horizontal one, I just choose some from the from the your uh, your practice paper. Okay, I want demo here first. First, you press, and uh, at the end, you press, and the, even in the middle, we call walk. So first, press, but what's the direction goes? In Chinese um, Chinese calligraphy, uh, we use, uh, how to say, uh, the two ends to tuck in, tuck in, uh, to tuck in, uh -huh. in the to, Right, to hide, to hide the two, two ends, the starting and the ends. Some Western people call, oh, that's the Asian um, culture. <laughs> I, I don't know how to explain it, but that, to tuck in. So which means, um, the first, first, when I touch, when I touch, it's go uh, a little bit like the, um, like the opposite direction. I mean, to hide, to tuck in things. And at the end, Kind of the back, back a little bit. So, okay. So this direction, and then press, 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 press. When I'm ready to go, then I go walk. And then at the end, press, press. See how slow. Press, 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 and kind of a back, 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 and uh, lifting in meanwhile. Again. Again, yes. <laughs> but yeah, watch how slow when I did at the first and the end. Uh -huh. When you, yeah, it's just, okay, first press and the twist brush, get ready to walk. When you when you get ready and then walk. Press to get ready and then walk and then press again and the lift, lift, lift. Yeah, one stroke, one stroke, do not repeat. Uh -huh. You do not have to, uh, like, uh, the whole space of the, like, just to show you, yeah, how big. When walk, uh, you can go a little bit faster. But the beginning, the, at the beginning and at the end, you need to pause. Okay, 
Vertical stroke, same principle. You pause and press first, and then you go. Press, see how slow, and then I go. At the end, gradually, gradually, gradually lift and go a little bit back. Or just the lift, we have two kinds, the vertical one. And the some go just lift in the air. Go slowly, slowly, slowly. At the very beginning, at the very beginning, and some people call just every stroke in Chinese choreography make a dot. That's why we say the first stroke dot is very important. Make a dot, then go whatever direction. Yeah, make a dot and then a dot and then uh, adjust the direction and go vertically. The vertically is harder than the horizontal one normally. Because yeah. you have arm. <laughs> yeah, but this dot do not do like a two, I mean two over. It's like the nail tail, you know, two this kind of things or rat tail too weak at the end do not do these kind of things nail head yeah nail head tail. and the red tail mm -hmm. <laughs> that's why i say slow slow yeah even at the end you go like in the air in the air gradually lift like a deliver all of your energy to the end not just a very quick sweeping The fourth one, the slanting one, to the left down. Make a dot first, and the press, and the gradually lift. Okay, my demo here. Uh, here. Press first, and press, press, and gradually lift, gradually lift, gradually lift. To the left, left hand side down, down to the left hand side. Last one we call press, but it's to the uh, right hand side, down to the right hand side. But it's different, very different from the uh, the slender one to the left hand side, because there is a press. Okay, look at the touch it first and down, 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 and here, and the press very hard here and the lift. This is the hardest stroke, look at me. Gradually, gradually press, press down here, and then lift and twist your brush, lift. Uh -huh. For this single stroke, I practiced like the whole summer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> After doing the whole afternoon, I practiced like um, 10 sheets 
paper and when my, my mom checked when she back and she used the red ink circled some good one yeah every time uh, from like uh, uh, 20 30 one my mom circled only like a two to three See? those are good <laughs> those are okay sometimes she said <laughs> Actually, I didn't. I didn't like the practicing of the calligraphy. Lots of teachers work by that year. Uh, actually, later on, later on, uh, when I um, try to practice the painting, I did feel it's very useful. Very useful. I got lots of advantage than others. They didn't practice. That's true. Okay, uh, uh, another one for this press one. Okay, touch first and gradually, gradually press. And then twist still, walk, gradually lift, gradually lift. That's the single stroke. This single stroke we consider the hardest stroke in all calligraphy stroke. You think about this a single stroke. What do you think? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> or it's very hard to make a perfect one. Lots of strokes. Uh, uh, I mean, lots of uh, uh, changing. Okay, the very last one I think I want to uh, say uh, besides this five two is like the turning, turning. Because the turning part I want to say, yeah. For example, horizontal one, horizontal one first, and I want to change it to vertical one. Press, 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 and then go down to the vertical one. And then press and stretch out. To the foot. So some turning part, turning part. Yeah, look at look look at here. We got yeah. I press here and turn and then go. Change the direction by twisting brush. Uh huh. And then go. So here, kind of the kind of turning part, kind of the squarish, squarish. Not like the rainbow, rainbow curvy curvy stroke. In Chinese calligraphy and also later on Chinese painting, uh, we more appreciate like the squarish turning part, not the round, like the railway or rainbow curvy, curvy thing. Yeah, that's what that's why I want to mention this turning, turning that like stroke connection. Turning techniques. I will do again. Not very, very, very slow and by pressing. Press, press, and then change the direction. See squarish thing? Press, 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 and then stretch out. I didn't do very good because the vertical thing for me, not on the table. For this turning part, this kind of, uh, I mean, the technique sometimes uh, is seen as useful um, in our painting, like the uh, birds, big birds' leg, the 
the the knee but for the heron you know lots of uh, yeah the press and the not the very curvy one yeah. okay uh now i think i want to you to learn one character uh in chinese way uh we include five basic strokes and uh, this is the only character people say if you learn calligraphy you say you learn the chinese uh calligraphy one character you need to learn is that this character very simple eternity mm -hmm. <laughs> some people learn that already dodge first and then horizontal short horizontal turning to the vertical oh i didn't do good <laughs> see only uh, always one stroke i didn't do this part good but i want to repeat i want to repeat the stroke uh -huh. i can do again do another one it's hard to work to do the vertical things i mean this way because <laughs> not stable for the arm When less of ink, you can do slower. Otherwise, it shows this flying white. <laughs> yeah, if too much ink, it will smear. But the Chinese, you know, rice paper, you always like make friends with it. You cannot really control kind of the smearing. All the characters, uh, when you uh, people try to make it squarish. Okay, now I think uh, I'm going to show you some uh, strokes uh, very quick. If you, you can feel it's good uh, in the painting for like this kind of stroke, the slant one, it's exactly the bamboo leaves. Bamboo leaves. So without the um, the pressing uh, at the the beginning, you just touch it and press it and the lift. So remember, press lift, press lift easily. You will get bamboo leaf. Press and lift, and we we do it like a very first three in a group, three in a group. Press lift, press lift, and then press lift, press lift. You can just do slower. Press lift, press lift, lift, press lift, lift. Yeah, three of them. You can do a little bit on the beginning, a little bit, li little bit apart, not all from the same point. And uh, can do a little cross. Different length, some longer and uh, some shorter. 
still in the group, in the group from same plant. Not exactly some same point. And see if you can control the lens, control the lens. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. You can do different direction as well. And then later on, you can add, add two small, two small ones to make five in a stroke. Five in a stroke. Uh -huh. okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. In the group, that's the bamboo leaf. And see if you, you can control in a different direction. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, whatever. <laughs> yeah, the press. Very, very easy to press and uh, lift. Press, lift. Press, lift. Good, good. See, you're getting better. Yeah. Press and lift. Okay, and then now I'm also I uh, want to show you, uh, show you. Uh, let's do the longer this kind of stroke to make the we call uh, orchid leaves. Orchid leaves. Uh -huh. This kind of orchid uh, in China. That's the Chinese. Um, I, I I do not see uh, here, but very basic stroke in Chinese painting. It's, a, it's called Chinese traditionally wild orchid with very um, narrow leaves, very narrow leaves and uh, uh, small uh, flowers. But this kind of leaves uh, help helps to um, practice the stroke and long stroke, long stroke. Um, very basic, we call. Uh, three basic, very three basic uh, for these uh, orchid leaves to make the um, the whole picture uh, constructively looking good. So first, whatever. Mm -hmm. Whatever you do. And the second, try to to cross to cross it. Some people call it to uh, make it like phoenix eye here. Some people call uh, like new the uh, new moon, like a uh, crescent, new moon here. And the third stroke is to break this eye or across this uh, moon, the new moon. See it here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's very basic, basic three leaves to make. And then later on, you can add like a, another group of three or like a, some to help those three. But those three here are already. Can you see some like, basic thing here already? Uh -huh. uh, one thing I think I want to uh, um, advise uh, it's very important when you make this long stroke, do things press and lift, press and lift, not very even the long one. See? Not this one, not correct. Cause very narrow leaves in the wind, in in the air, it it twists, always twists, right? So the narrow, narrow, narrow place indicated like the side view of these leaves. So try to do the long one, but press and lift, press and lift twice. Look at me. 
touch. Press and lift, press and lift, like that. At one, at, uh, at, least, uh, uh, at least one. Press and lift. Gradually press and lift, and then press and lift, and try to do this. And then when you do the second stroke, second stroke, when you cross, try to cross at the at the, the narrow at the narrow place, not the very strong, the wide place. Make sense? Yeah, when do the second stroke? And the sec second stroke, uh, normally the different different length, either shorter, very very rare. Some people, some artists do the first one, uh, very short, and the second one should be very long, very long, longer than that. Some artists do that, but normally first one uh, pretty long, and the second one cross it, but shorter than that. Normally. Normally do that. The second one goes like a, I think the perfect, and the third one. After three of them, you can do some small one to help or do other group group of uh, three fish heads yeah but they should uh from it's the same plant so like an uh, all group of these uh, uh, strokes you can think of that underneath of the earth they are from the same point but above the earth they are not from the same point understand yeah you can, yeah, you, image, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, underneath, you should be the same. So they are like the fish, see the same food, they are together, a group of fish, yeah. When you do not physically from the uh, from the same point because it's above the uh, above the earth, but you need to uh, think of underneath. Yeah, they are same plant from same root. When I when I do the painting for the for the orchid leaves, I mo uh, I mostly uh, think of the uh, first uh, at first I said uh, the instruct uh, instructively beautiful. I think of the the whole picture, the whole um uh, the whole space of the picture, and where I put this stroke to make the whole picture beautifully. I didn't, I normally, I do not specifically look at the, the stroke. I think of the whole, whole space, whole space. What, where, where the first stroke goes, goes. And, and then, okay, the picture like that. The one thing here, and then the, the, the second one here. And then the third, the third one goes. So, just think of the whole space. I try to divide the, the space, you know, beautifully. I didn't look at this very specific stroke, where it goes very narrow, where... When you practice, get used down to this. Very natural, because uh, in the air, very natural twist the, 
uh, in the, the of the leaves. Uh -huh. Actually, um, we say the first stroke like decide everything, everything. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And then the second, the second and then the third one, uh, even the later more one, more ones followed, right? Followed. Some people joke this so say uh, artists when they do the uh, the paint the whole painting. The first after the full, first stroke, whatever, without thinking, you know. Uh, the first when the first stroke you write down, we say write down, we need to paint down, write down uh, the the price of this painting, you know, already. You know. Because later on it follow, it follow the, the first stroke. Okay? Then we can show some other real paper. <laughs> Okay, thank you everybody on Facebook for watching. We'll be back uh, shortly with a uh, uh, real painting with <laughs> in ink. <laughs>